I'm going to walk to the garden and then I'll start my work here. And um, so this is vlog two. Welcome to my life. Um, this is stairs. I do these stairs usually twice a day. Once, definitely. Twice, and it's for my garden. And, um, you know, I am not wealthy, but I'm wealthy in the heart now because I'm healthy and I do my fitness every day. Now, some say, you you know, it's all in the food. It's, it's 80% of what you eat and then it's 20% fitness, right? Now, in the beginning stages of my um, lab band, right? So let me take you back, right? I started at 215 pounds. I lost five pounds before I went to the bariatric doctor. And I weighed in at 210 pounds. So, and I'm a little shorty. I'm about, hmm, Five foot three, I used to be five foot four, but now I'm five foot three. Now if I slouch, I'm shorter. Mm -hmm. Now I have a lot of age deterioration, a lot of bone loss, maybe a little osteopenia going on or osteoporosis. She's old, she, re she died with a hump on her back. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to stretch my back. I stretch my back, I stretch it and stretch my shoulders because I don't want to have a hump on my back, right? And, and I'm middle-aged, so I can't be a sexy vixen anymore, right? Sexy vixens, unless you have plastic surgery or facelift or some kind of cosmetic procedure, but I still have my baby belly because I had three pregnancies, one live birth. And, um, I was kind of older when I had my daughter. I think I was 20, how old was I? 26, yeah, so I was 26 when I had my daughter. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of older, mama. But um, my first two pregnancies when I was a teenager, but um, I won't talk about that. But, um, and I gained, gained 10 pounds, 10 or 15 pounds at that time but then it took me about nine months to lose it. Um, but I never had an obesity issues until I was 40. Let's see, what, what year was that? 2000, I was 50. Well, actually it was 45, 45, yeah, 45. So that's middle age, that's when it starts and all the doctors would tell me, well, you're middle age, you can, you're about to be fat. No, I don't wanna be fat. I don't want to be fat and I don't want to be obese because obesity, you know, you get disease, right? You get all that estrogen dominance or that insulin resistance. Check it out, Dr. Fung, he'll explain it. And Dr. Berg, Dr. Berg is a great resource. He goes all about those medical conditions. So if you're not sure about a medical condition, look up Dr. Berg, he's a chiropractor, but he explains a lot of things. Now, if you want to get really science, there's an Englishman named John Campbell, and he's a professor back down in the UK, up in the UK, over in the UK, and he explains a lot of medical conditions. But you know what? It's not hard. It's not hard because now we have the internet. We don't have to go to the library. We got the internet. We can even access the library. From our own home, we don't have to leave the house. I learned how to swim from YouTube. Can learn a lot of things, but there's a lot of dogma on YouTube <laughs> and a lot of gurus, right? But see, I'm an athlete now. I did. I became an athlete in 2013 because I trained for a whole year before I started competing in races because I knew because I had never ran any race or any kind of distance or was not even interested in any races. Nope. 
Maybe I was a dancer or things like that, but I was never what you call an athlete. But I think about now, I think I, I did three year, four years of races, four years of races. Now, I'm done with races because I don't have any money to spend. And I'm trying to keep down the inflammation from my body. So I'm focusing on fasting, intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating. Check it out. And uh, how to repair DNA, how to repair apoptosis, how to cure insulin resistance, how to cure... Um, estrogen dominance, which I've had all my life. I had fibroids in my in my uterus. Um, I had cysts. Uh, cysts. I had several cysts. I had a cyst between my breasts, which when I was five, estrogen makes everything grow, right? So I'm living. I'm living on a fasting high. I love. You know what? Fasting is just as addictive as exercise could be, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going down to 130 pounds. I'm trying to get myself back to 15% body fat. I wear those hair pieces or wigs uh, in the summertime because I can't stand it because I sweat. I sweat like a pig when I exercise. So um, I'm just living my best zen life. And uh, I gotta open these hip flexors. I'm down here in the in the bowels of the. Ugh, God, I'm tight this morning. I'm, these days, a sassy biatch. But I give it to you real. This is the real deal, baby. This is the real deal. This ain't this ain't no fluff. Another channel. Mhm. Mm you got the real deal. Cause even though I'm a lap bander. You can look back at my channel. Going back to 130 pounds. Keep watching. See ya.